everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I'm at home today babysitting some construction workers and feeling a little under the weather. Um, this video is a continuation from the last one. If you haven't seen the last one, I'll put the link up at the end so you can catch it. But basically, I had a squirrel moment in the middle of the night and decided to modify a painting. Um, and it was quite the learning process for me. I changed my mind a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, this video has been heavily edited. I think I cut out about an hour's worth of content. And I still feel like parts of this video are a little bit slow. <laughs> but I know people always tell me they like to hear my thought process. So I tried to leave that in as best I could. So you know why I'm doing what I'm doing or why I'm changing my mind. And then um, there are parts you'll never see. There was spray paint involved. There was multiple shades of gold involved. And all of that is on the cutting room floor, as they say. But anyway, um, I hope you like the end result. Look forward to your comments. Let me get you down. Hey guys, it's Karen. Um, it's late night in the studio. I like to resin late at night open up all the windows, put the fan on. Anyway, I'm staring at this painting. I don't even know if I have a video for it. If I do, I'll tack it on, um, the creation video. But I keep staring at it thinking, it looks like an abstract bouquet to me. So I'm thinking about modifying it. At first I thought I would try like the new, well, new to me, it's not new, the Tri Art Crackle Ground and like painting the outline of this and then putting some, you know, crackle on it, kind of similar to what I did to that guy over there. But I feel like it would be too busy. So what I think I'm gonna do is put some gold leaf on this and maybe outline it in black and then put gold leaf on it. So I'm gonna just grab like a gold pen right now and outline what I think the bouquet should be. Cause you already got like an abstract vase. This stuff would get covered up and yeah, I'm kind of inspired. I'm going to do it. Hold on one sec. All right. So I got my, um, what is this? My deco art premium gold marker. Um, this is an oil-based opaque metallic paint marker and it's just to help me envision the bouquet and then I'm not going to sit here and like color the whole thing maybe just a little portion and if I like what I have I'm either going to ruin it or um, it's going to be fabulous it's going to be one or one or the other and to my thinking is well, no guts, no glory, pretty much. So I'm going to go for it because let's do an easy part first. So this is definitely the base, right? So let's just kind of outline the vase. And then I'm just going to do cut-ins where the flowers are. And probably what I will do, if I have any ink left, because I do have um, a paint sprayer. But I might outline the edge of it later with black before I put down my gold leaf. So obviously that part was easy. I think I'm going to leave that little guy live. around like this. I feel like this side is easy. So like, I'll just color this in so you can kind of see where I'm going with this. I think my marker's starting to die because it's my favorite. I'm gonna have to get another one. Maybe I'll do it up here. So I, I would keep that. I would come. Round, 
Let me do that. Use some of that dark stuff. So this would let me color this in so you can see. I think the other side is um, where more decisions would have to be made because this side it's kind of jagged, like a bouquet would be anyway. So it's kind of easy to just follow the lines. It's the other side that'll be tricky. So if I just do this, just let me color this in. See what I mean? Like, I think it would be cool looking. And I could gold leaf the whole thing. And then resin the resin it afterwards. So I can throw this in here. And then let me back up. I think I would leave some of these little dots, these little baby flowers. So I'm gonna come around like this and then come up and this stuff. So everything outside of the gold line won't be will be gold will be gold leaf. That's a lot to color in. Let me just do a little section, hopefully. So this is a good way to like see before you commit to gold leaf, especially if you're buying the real gold leaf um, because it's rather expensive and it's quite the process to lay it. You just gotta prep your canvas and I'll go over all of that if this works out. Um, you don't wanna use this marker like this. This is good for like line work but when you fill it in, you can see all the strokes um, of the pen. So it's really not good to just color it in and leave it like this. So that's all gone, right? Oh yeah, see, I'm liking how that looks already. Does it showing up on canvas? Oh yeah, wow, it's showing up really well. And then on this side, I will probably fill in a little bit of the vase and make it more even. So kind of go like this and then have it come up and around. And then <clears throat> I'm better when I stand back and stare at it. Um, so I lose, I lose sight when I'm up close. So definitely keep some of this. And there seems to be like a natural break right in here. Well, I'm gonna lose some really awesome cells, but all in the name of art, what can I say? Yeah, I like that so far. And then I got like this blob where it's like the watercolor effect, but it's really, there's really not any cells. I think I'm just going to cut into that a little bit and follow this line. We'll leave some of it there for now. And then we'll come back and this has this bud that's sticking out. And that's kind of cute. And then I'm trying to figure out where's the end point for my composition up here. So let me stare a second. And what I think I'm going to do is take off this part. So goodbye to all these beautiful gold pink cells. <laughs> They're going to be a goner because I'm going to take this kind of like this. And down. And then this is going to come back up over here. We'll leave one. <laughs> Just one. So then, if I color some of this in, it'll give me an idea of what my composition looks like. And then I can play. So it's definitely easier to play with the marker 
um, than it is with the gold leaf paper or the sheets. So let me see what this looks like there. All of this is gone. So put X's here all on the outside edge. So that's where I was going to put um, crackle, but decided against it in favor of the gold. So if I do some of this, make this wider so you can see, and hopefully you'll get the general idea. I feel like I need to color, color some of this in. Um, a little bit so you can see, or, and I can see, cause I wanna see my composition before I um, go home for the night and then I'll come back and prep the canvas for the gold leaf and do that next. I hope I took a picture of this before. I guess I can get a still from this video. <laughs> I honestly, I think there's a video, a creation video for the bloom because it, when I stare at it, I'm like, this is actually, this is definitely um, a part of my kit because I've been on this transparent color kick and this is definitely all transparent colors except for the teal. So it's fairly new. So there, I hope this isn't boring. A little bit up here and then just like right in here. And then I'll take a look and see. So I can't add anything obviously. All I can do is subtract. So that, you know, all this. Oh, yeah, my marker's definitely dying now. I have to stop at Michael's. I feel like it needs to be... Let me step back. I'm going to flip it around, too, to make it, make it shiny on this side. I'm having trouble seeing it. Let me flip it. So it's upside down for me. Yeah, see now I can see the glow better. Um, I like this. It's just this. And like this, this needs like a little something. So it looks a little more organic. So I'm probably gonna play with this area. And same with this stuff. I feel like it's not, it's not natural enough. If that makes any sense, like a bouquet would, like the way these are jutting out. So I'm probably gonna have to do like some cut-ins here, like get rid of these two cells and leave this one behind. And then maybe get rid of this cell here and leave these two. You know, just so it looks bouquet-like. So, and just little cut-ins with my marker. And then figure out this whole section too, because this doesn't look natural like a bouquet either. So, part surrealism, part abstract. Um... Let me flip it back the other way. Yeah, I kind of like where this is going. Good grief. The marker is handy, but man, it looks terrible with all the line work. Um, that's really not showing up on camera too much for you, though. Because, you know, I'm looking at you upside down. Where's my eyeball? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm staring at it. It's a little off balance this way. Um, probably gonna have to glaze some color right in here for this part of the vase. I think like I left this here and I shouldn't. This should come out because this does look natural right here. Um, of the flowers kind of spilling over the top of the vase. So let me color this in. Yeah, so this is just kind of like either if I'm working with gold leaf or the, um, you know, crackle paste or crackle ground. This is kind of how I 
plan my composition and see how this side it goes out and then it comes in and then it goes out and in that's what's wrong with this side there's not enough um, in and out so like definitely definitely in here and I'm just gonna draw it like we would leave this bloom we come here and we would leave some of that maybe again something like this just to give it some shape right there that's getting there I'm gonna have to dork around with this little section this is better now and my marker is just about done so hopefully that gives you an idea um, of what I'm looking to do. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with the um, gold leaf next. See you guys. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, you know, I had my heart set on using um, the gold leaf sheets. And then I stopped at Michael's because my marker died and I picked up a couple more different brands and and was just you know playing around with them I didn't like them they weren't the same shade but while I was at Michael's I saw I already spilled it hold on I found oh my gosh Karen you're such a goober uh I found this stuff this is gilding paint in gold I'm like huh that would work out much faster for doing you know my outlines and things to see where I want my gold leaf because I want to see what it looks like before I commit to the gold leaf so let me open this up again and I'll show you what it looks like um, well it looks like that in the little jar and I've just been taking a paintbrush and it says to you know go in one direction and you just lay it on and man it's a hell of a lot faster than a marker for sure but what I've discovered is um, a couple things is that it looks pretty great when you have these nice even strokes. Now I can have be as careful as all get out, but you know, this is a fluid art painting. There are little bumps and, and notches and things just from the paint itself. And it's not going to look the same as it would say if I was painting um, a clay pot or something, because that's what the primary purpose of this paint is. That's like the little pictures on the on the packaging showed the gilded paint on like a flower pot. So this does show my little bumps and things, but I'm thinking is one I feel like the gold is so blingy that the outline of my abstract little flower in a vase here is kind of getting a little bit lost so I had this idea of foregoing the paint the um the gold leaf paper sheets because that, I mean, it's just so, it's messy and you got to brush it and get into all the little cracks and grooves. I might use it to highlight parts of the um, flower or maybe the vase later. But for now, I think I'm going to stick with this and just do this all the way around. I still have my outline from last night and put this down everywhere. Um... I recommend opening up some windows, maybe wearing your respirator mask if you do resin work, because this stuff is smelly. I took it off so I could talk to you. Um, and the one thing I do like is that I'm able to take, I have an angled brush, is get into the little cracks and areas to make like certain little parts of flowers stand out and really get into the grooves. It, it just sucks being left-handed because this happens. Um, and you, I have to keep rotating the, the canvas. This takes about an hour to dry between coats. And then I'm just going to continue doing this 
I gotta figure out whether I like that or not. I'm gonna keep continue doing this and then I've decided I'm gonna resin this. And then once it's resin, come back with my Posca pen or a paint marker and then outline it. I tried it, I had like this color here, this is a Posca pen, this is light orange, you know, thinking I would match one of the colors and then outline it, it gets lost. It's it's uh, too matchy-matchy and doesn't provide enough contrast. So I'm just gonna switch to my black Posca pen and then I'm gonna outline all the little details on top of the resin. That way it'll have a little bit of a 3D punch to it. Um, and then give it a second coat of resin after that. So that's all I'm doing for now is I'm going to stand here, you know, and do my sides, let it dry, do a second coat, go home and have some dinner, and then I'll resin it tomorrow. Um, you guys have seen me resin before, so I don't think I'm going to include that portion. I will come back with the resin results and show you how I do the Posca pen part. Yep, that's the plan. What do we think so far, though? I'm liking how, remember how yesterday I didn't like that this was too straight on? But with my handy-dandy brush here, I've been able to make cut-ins to the flowers to make it look a little more natural. I'm not sure I'm going to have this go off the edge here. I'm probably going to do, maybe I can do that real quick in front of you guys, is... Like there's some two really nice cells here. So I'm gonna take out these this part here. Just like with um, paint markers or um, anything that you're applying that's super liquidy, um, I would practice first because if you jiggle, the paint jiggles. So you kind of have to paint with this stuff with confidence. Um, and in order to get it to look nice, but I think I'm going to cut in like right there and then maybe take this guy out completely. So let's make a line here. Hopefully, is my head in the way? Can you see what I'm doing? Where am I? Okay, you can see. <laughs> I was like, what if they're just staring at my big noggin the whole time? Uh, and just outline this like this and you know just work on the, the small details this is the part I find very very zen so I'm going to leave that little yellow I like this teardrop little petal so we leave those to live and then cut in here maybe we'll see how far down I go at least to here I might take this down even farther let me let me look. So yeah, see that already looks better, right? Like a little more natural. I see a spot. These are my cut-ins. These are like spots I see where you, I can make a cut-in just to make the flowers look a little more organic. So this whole part right here can be gold and just kind of dork around like this and play but yeah I find it very satisfying very zen like yep I like that too um so that's what I'm going to do for the next half hour or so figure out what to do with this little part here that I'm not thrilled with and this part here it's so funny I like this side so much better than this side at first and now it's the opposite so um this looks like little lobster claws at the top. I'm not sure I like that. We'll let it live for now. Uh, or maybe take it, cut it in a little deeper maybe. It's the claw. <laughs> That's what it is. The claw. I've watched Toy Story way too many times. Um, yeah, that's better. And yeah, that's it for now. Um, I'll be back after I have two coats in, uh, this is resin and then we'll dork around some more. Okay. See you guys. Bye. 
Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, my body is causing a shadow on the gold. So this is what it looks like right now. Let me let me just prop it up against my phone stand for a sec so you can see it. And then we'll just start in close. So what I've been doing is standing around outlining it. It really, the black outline really made a pop off the canvas. Like, um, and I like that graphic look to it uh, very, very much. I'm really happy with how my little vase came out. Um, I came very close to making it perfectly symmetrical on both sides and then decided that that's not what happens in surrealism. So it's deliberately a little bit wonky. That's on purpose. And then um, just touching up some areas, I made some more cut-ins with the gold. Um, and then, you know, I fixed this. I like this a lot. It looks just like little cherry buds um, right there. And then this little part looked like a bird. So, of course, I had to make a bird. Because <laughs> it just made me happy and gives me the giggles. And he just blends in really, really nice. Um, somebody, a couple people were telling me they saw a horse head or a Winnie the Pooh. And I don't see either of those things other than my birdie <laughs> so far anyway yeah so just little embellishments like little dots um here and there like up here just just little things for visual interest and i thought i saw a spot where i missed the black outline maybe i'm seeing things oh no there it is up there um so what i've decided to do and this is based off of my sample piece so i went ahead and resined this thing this is another it's all messed up i mean i love the whole concept and i love the painting i can't sell it it's all bumpy and and wonky but i'm going to keep it forever um see where it's all bump um bumpy and then you can definitely see the paint strokes from this stuff from the gilding paint so i've been doing watching a lot of videos about how professionals use the gold leaf and so what I've decided to do is I'm going to resin this entire thing and then do my gold leaf even if I have to re-outline you know my composition that'll be fine that's no big deal and part of the reason I'm doing that be besides let me see if you can see them if I put it down besides the streaks and I was I came in this morning and was super super careful um, going in one direction, big long strokes, and it's still streaky. That and like they're just little bumps and weird things in the canvas that I can see. Like I tried sanding off this bump here, and there's some bumps. That's just the you know from the painting underneath. And so if I resin it and give it a nice smooth surface, and then do my gold leaf, it'll it should come out flawless. So I'm not going to bother you with the resin process. I mean, I'm just going to resin the whole thing. You've seen plenty of my videos of me doing that. And then um, I'll come back for the gold leaf part. Yep. Okay. See you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. This has been resined. Um, so everything's nice and smooth now. I got a piece of gold leaf stuck on it already. And right now, I'm just going to show you a portion of this. Um, I am using Speedball Metal Leaf Adhesive on top of my resin. I gave this a light stir already off camera. And I am just going to open it up more and start applying the glue because it needs to um, set up for a little bit and get tacky before I get the gold leaf. But this is, you know, fairly straightforward. Or I'm just going to lay the glue all over this. Obviously, the bigger parts um, are easier. Um, and then I'm going to have to spend a minute or two getting in the cracks and crevices. So this is all that's going on. And then we'll come back and apply the gold leaf. So I'll see you in a sec. All right, guys. I'm just going to start. This needs... Just a little more. You you need it to be 
tacky. Try not to put on too much glue. I'm going to start with my first sheet of gold leaf and we'll just do it at this end. I'll do the sides later. And put the first one down. I think I went a little crooked. I'll touch that up later. I'm just using a makeup brush to push it all down and in. Like that. And then it's going to rip right there because that's where my edge is. Yep, we're going to wait. I'm going to leave it sit. Doesn't want to pull up clean. Let me try here. Aha, there we go. Oh, so cool. Just going to let that dry. I'm just going to push this into the crevices a little bit. And there's my first sheet. Looking good. Some of this will get dusted off later. See if I do this because there's it was covering up my base. And then we'll dust that off. Very, very fun. And then you see where the, the gold leaf, I turned out my light so it wouldn't have any more reflection other than like my little tiny camera that you can see. If I turn on my light, it's gonna cause a big reflection because you know, it's gold leaf. So let me try, you can see it there. And then where it goes slightly over my black outline, that's the part I was talking about, I will touch up later. I'm gonna brush it off the sides here, all the old stuff. And I'll collect all the little bits and bobs and save it. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. And with the resin surface, it's all nice and smooth and not bumpy. And I'm just going to keep on going. I'll do one more in front of you and then that's it because I really want to concentrate. <laughs> uh, let me grab another sheet. Nice and careful. And this one, we need to get it over some of these cracks and crevices. So we're going to put it kind of like that. And brush this on. Now, obviously, I feel like I'm going a little fast here um, and that it should sit on here and dry first. But just for demo purposes, I just want to show you how I'm going to do a couple sheets and how you peel it up. Um, and then the rest, I only have glue here. So I'll do these three sheets and I'm going to let that sit and not brush it off so quickly. And then I will glue the other sides and then any little tiny parts I missed, I'll use my flakes to get into the little crevices. But in the meantime, I will go ahead and lay this one kind of like right there and give that a dusting give it a good rub and I'm gonna let these ones sit before I before I peel them up and then of course with um, with gold leaf you do have to seal it so once I have all the gold leaf and the outline done, this will get a second coat of resin. And then wholly, it should be, you're gonna need sunglasses to see it. It should be so blingy and the best way possible. So yeah, there you have it. I'll come back, um, pr pretty straightforward process. I'll come back um, when I have the other side done. Yep, see you in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. It's the next day. And here's what I think of gold leaf. 
that the inventor can just go and burn in hell. That's what I feel. It is worse than any glitter. If you want to get revenge on your worst enemy, send them a greeting card full of crumpled up gold leaf. Because, you know, as you watch in YouTube videos or Instagram, Instagram reels, they put on the gold leaf and then they just go poof, poof, poof. And voila, it's so beautiful. No, it's not like that at all, y'all. It's, it's so bad. I had to quit and run across the street to 7-Eleven to get myself some Twizzlers so I could angrily chew on something while I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up too. But you brush and you brush some more and then you brush some more. And then if you brush just slightly too hard, well, glue be damned, even though it's the following day, it'll lift off. Or, in a part where you have no glue whatsoever, it won't lift. It gets on your on your top coat, and then you have to get a, a stronger brush, and then you brush and you brush, and then next thing you know, your entire studio or kitchen or basement or wherever it is that you're working has little itty bits of gold leaf everywhere. It is 10 times more insidious than glitter. And if you don't know me, well, know that I hate glitter. And one time a girlfriend, as a joke, sent me a Christmas card with red and green and silver sparkles in it because she thought it was festive. And I could, I nearly killed her. <laughs> I opened up the card in my kitchen and glitter went flying. And I found it for like months. Like in our family room on another floor. That's gold leaf, 10 times worse. So this is what I'm doing is brushing and brushing. That's the other thing. They show you on all those Instagram reels, it's like la 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 And poof, it's done. Oh no, 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 no. You are at it for a while, sister. You are digging out gold leaf in parts where you know for sure you didn't have glue. You're positive you didn't have glue in the middle of your art and you're stuck and forced to take your fingernail, to take tape, you know, a lint ruler, whatever you can find to get it off your damn substrate. So that's my rant. I'm sure it'll all be better and I'll be all happy when it's done. I already see a couple areas like right here that I'm going to have to redo. But not easy to work with. And like there's parts like right here and right here. There, that is like, it's just, there's no glue there and it doesn't want to come off. I need a, where's my other brush? I have like three or four different brushes where I'm like, you know, doing this to it. Kind of like pouncing. And look, then it comes up. It's like, oh, she's filming. I better be good. Where you do this to, to like get it off. So I'm not going to sit here and make you guys suffer with me. I ranted. I feel better. I'm calmer. I'm patient. I will win the battle over the gold leaf. So I'm going to go when I come back. Hopefully all of that will be done. And we can outline our composition, resin it, and call this one done. See you soon. All right, guys, I'm back for a second. All seriousness aside, um, I found very few videos. Actually, I take that back. I didn't find any videos um, that went into any sort of detail of like how to fix your gold leaf if you screw it up. Um, and not that I really screwed it up. I mean, in parts, it's just so hard to work with um that if you do need to remove some of the gold leaf i'm really grateful that i resin this first because it just makes it easier so this is just a damp paper towel and it serves two purpose one you can like wipe up all the minute little pieces um that i was complaining about and then you know wrap your fingernail in it because i i resorted I'll hold it this way so you don't see my credit card number. To use in a credit card, 
um, to get into little spots where the gold leaf went where I didn't want it to go. And that helped, but so far, the thing that's working the best to remove it around edges, like here's the, the beak of my bird. See, oh, hello there. Nice to see you again, little birdie. Um, this seems to be working the best. So just a little tip and trick. If you decide to take this on, um, it does make life easier. All right, I'll be back when I correct everything. Okay, Grumpy Pants is back. So it's the next day. I let the glue dry overnight. I brushed it oh so carefully. And it's still, even if it was perfect, even if like I sent this to some like, gold leaf expert and they did this i just think it overpowers the actual bloom like the gold before made the bloom like pop out and now it just looks like gold aluminum foil that's how i how i think i mean i'm like and i'm not i'm no quitter and if i thought it looked good i would carry on and fix all my mistakes and like I, I can be really, really stubborn and I would keep working on it and scraping it and putting more sheets down. I just don't like the overall look of it. And so then I thought, well, maybe it's because it's not outlined. So then I went and excuse the mess. I tried to outline it two things. One, it's incredibly difficult because even with the slightest touch from the marker, it still wants to tear. Two, it really... I did like this part and that's pretty thick right there. And it's still, you know, ignore like all the little baby flakes, like ignore that stuff. Just look at the line work. It doesn't pop the way it used to. It just doesn't. And I really did kind of want it to work out, but I'm not feeling it. I think I might, I might flood it with gold. I might leave it be, but now um, I'm just going to soak this canvas because it's resin on three sides. I'm just going to soak the glue off and you can literally wipe the whole thing off. So that's good news. I'm going to take it home, clean it up and come up with the plan B. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, so I did take this home. And how I removed the gold leaf was I put it in a, my utility sink. I flipped it upside down um, and just soaked it like this. I didn't get the wood wet. I just kind of soaked it in warm water and then just kind of took a scrubby brush. And it just, whew, it all came off really, really easily. And then just to make certain all the glue and everything was gone, um, what did I use? I used a little bit of Goo Gone um, to get any glue residue off. And then I wiped the whole thing down with some alcohol and just been brushing it because I'm paranoid, get it all nice and clean. So then I brought it back to the studio and I thought, what color gold am I gonna put on top if I'm not happy with my gilding gold? And so I looked at a variety of options. I looked at this deep gold, which I thought was too bright. Um, the light gold from Amsterdam competed with the gold in the, in the bloom too much. I tried, what's this, Mayan gold, but it has like a weird like green undertone to it for me. So I didn't like that. I tried 24K and you know, deco art, didn't like that. Being all picky pants, as usual. And so, I think I even looked at copper for a minute. So, I'm like, ooh, maybe some gold and copper. And it's, it's the, the red tones in the copper competed with the red, again, in the bloom. So, <laughs> after all of that, I decided to give the um, gilding paint another try. And... In order to get nice brush strokes, because that was my issue the first time, I've decided to share with you one of my favorite hacks that I've been doing for years and years. 
um, and I don't think I've ever talked about it on camera before. And so my hack is to get in between all these crevices and be able to do nice smooth brush strokes is I'm going to use this. This is Frisket film. That's what it's called. It's amazing. So basically it is ultra thin sticky paper. Does this one have it? <laughs> yeah, this one has it here. So first off, you got to be able to peel it off the back. <laughs> And then, come on. I know if I turn the camera off, then it'll pop right up. I see you. Give me an edge. Give me something. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Don't make me turn off. There we go. Okay, I got it. So this is it. And keep this, keep your backing paper if you decide to give this a go, because you can save and reuse your leftover pieces and just put it on the shiny part and keep it. So I'm just gonna peel this off, this piece of paper. And what's great about it is um, it sticks a little too well to resin and sometimes when you pull it off, it'll leave a little bit of residue that you can just wipe away with alcohol. Um, when you're using it on canvas and whatnot, it just, it just comes up easy peasy. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to place it, let me do the other, let me turn my canvas a second, like this, and I'm just going to put down two sheets, I'm going to overlap it on the edge, maybe, I am crooked, how crooked am I, yep, that works. So I'm not being really super precise because all I care about is the edges. I try not to get bubbles and I just usually do it like this and then kind of lay it down and like roll it down like this. And there's the half. And then I had left out my credit card And you can smooth it and it will get bubbles but as long as the bubbles like if i have these couple bubbles here i don't know if you can see those in the middle of the um bloom i really don't worry about that because that's not where i'm going to be cutting or anything it won't hurt anything in other words so if it doesn't, this is why I let, you know, overlap a little at the bottom. I can take it and peel it up and get rid of bubbles and then lay it down again. And of course, if you don't want to do big sheets like this, I'm kind of used to working with this. You can do smaller sections at a time and then just overlap them. So all I care about are the edges, that there are no bubbles on where I'm going to cut this out. So as long as my edges are bubble free, like right there, there's a bubble in the edge. Let's get him out. Then I'm fine. Do that everywhere. No bubbles on the edges. And then once that's done, I, I'm not going to do all of this in front of you, but now I'm just going to take my exacto knife and cut it out so make sure your exacto knife is sharp um, since i will be um, outlining this piece again i'm just going to use um, my posca pen outline as my guide and i'm just going to do this one little section here so you can see and then just take your time cutting it out and if you're uncertain of like, what's this going to look like? Am I going to like this? Then you can, did I do that part yet? No, I didn't. I'll just show you. And then I'm just going to score it. We'll just score it right here. And I'm going to take off this little piece. Did I not score it all the way? So you can see it. I'm just going to lift this up. 
and you can reuse this three or four times over like that and then I'm gonna put it on the shiny side up and there you have it I got a little I gotta dig out my alcohol I'm gonna wipe away a little bit of the sticky stuff that stayed behind and now I will be able to do the entire bloom and do long brush strokes over it and not worry about you know ruining this part and hopefully get really nice coverage nice even strokes come back let it dry come back peel the frisket hopefully if i like it then i can re-outline and uh give it a resin so i'm just gonna stay stay here with my exacto knife for half an hour or so and then uh I'll come back. I almost forgot to put the camera um, on. So got my first kit down, all cut out, and I've already started painting with my guild paint. And I do kind of love that I can go right over the frisket film to get to all my little nooks and crannies pretty easily. So I'm not going to belabor this part because this is all I'm going to be doing for the next couple minutes. And then I will let it dry. And when it's time to pull paper, pull the frisket film, I mean, I will come back and show you what it looks like. And uh, we'll take it from there. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, guys, time to peel the frisket film. I started a little bit here. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because, you know, boring. And I think I have a little bit uh, of leakage or I missed a bubble. But that's easily wiped away. So here comes the bottom. This part is so satisfying, I gotta say. It's okay if it rips. I just want to get off the main section here. It's going to take it straight up. There's my knife. Let's get that over there. <gasps> Looking good. Let's go. So never go this way. Always go um, inside out to peel. That way you won't mess up your paint. And then have your X-Acto knife handy in case you didn't score it well enough somewhere. You can do it on the fly. Ugh, keep dropping it. Right there. Can you guys see that? Hopefully. I'm going to score this right across here for a second. Oh, Karen. Shut up. I still have some minor lines. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, and I have some like bumps along the very edges because, you know, I'm super picky. But overall, I think I'm going to be pretty happy. I wish, I really, really wish that this had been on a cradle wood panel um, rather than canvas. But... You know, hindsight is twenty twenty, and I never had any intentions of doing this, so. Oh, well, now I'm doing it in front of you. I guess I'll just keep going for this other section. Here's the little birdie coming out. I let the paint dry, the guild paint, about an hour and a half. That's it. 
long enough that it that when it pulls off it's it's nice and crisp uh i guess i'll keep going real quick because it seems pretty easy well that was kind of crazy i pulled pulling it off that fast don't do what i do i definitely go slower for sure Get my exacto knife under this last little piece. Oops. Oh, I'm gonna rip right there. Is that everything? Did I miss anything? Any nooks and crannies? I have one little spot where it bled on the vase that I'm going to have to touch up tomorrow with the Q-tip because I don't have any here. Right there. Where's my finger? Can you see it? Yeah. Otherwise, all I'm going to do now is take my trusty Posca pen and stand here and re-outline the whole thing. And it'll be ready for resin. Stay tuned for the final result. Oh, there's a horrible glare on it. Guys, I'm back for just a second. I just uh, outlined everything with my Posca pen. I see a spot I want to make a little thicker right here. Um, I wanted to share with you two hacks before I go and rest in this and he'll come back with the uh, final results. The first hack is if you know your orientation and you have your first coat of resin down. Now is a great time to sign your art on the front. I usually either do like a matching color or something kind of settled. I used um, a copper Posca pen and put my signature here. Now when I put my coat of resin on top, no one can ever say this isn't a Karen painting because they'll never get rid of my, my name on the front of the art. So do that in between your resin layers that's hack number one. And then hack number two, I don't know if you noticed, um, I put hardware on the back of it. This is only if you know your, or your orientation. This is a great hack for when you want to peel tape and you don't want to touch resin, um, you have something to hold on to. So I, if I know my orientation, I always do this and go ahead and put my D-rings and wire on um, before I resin that way when it comes time to peel tape if I don't want to get fingerprints on the resin or anything I have something to hold on to so was that even on camera no I gotta go look <laughs> anyway off to resin see you guys hey guys I have to stay at home with um, some bathroom construction folks so here are the final results can't go to the studio today it's gorgeous here though and there it is I hope the glare isn't too, too bad. Really, really pretty in the floater frame. And I think I'm gonna move it, or at least let me bring it over here and just set it down. Oh no, the glare is too bad. Oh, maybe not there. So you can see it and I wanna come in close on me, just pick a spot on the line work around the bloom on top of the resin because I did that um almost last and that looks really great i'm super tickle pink with this guy very very cute it's in a nice ampersand floater frame that i got from jerry's artorama and uh yeah let me flip around let me know what you guys think all right guys if you made it this far thank you <laughs> um let me know what you think in the comments all of the products that I use are in my Amazon shop under paint supplies. The link is in the description section. So if you want to get yourself some gold leaf or some gold leaf glue or some Prisket film or um, whatnot or the paint markers, all of that is in my Amazon shop. Have at it. Um, that's all I got. I'm tuckered. I'll let you guys go. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Peace out, y'all.